Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching Hacking Raspberry Pi Zero to Hero series. So guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, installing TensorFlow Lite, which is part of TensorFlow, which is again from Google. TensorFlow is a very powerful algorithm for artificial intelligence. So make sure that you have installed all those stuffs successfully the one which I showed you in the previous lesson. Now we will move ahead and uh, start looking at something from the backend uh, database point of view. So in this particular lesson, I will show you how to install SQL database in your Raspberry Pi. Now those of you are from SQL from the database uh, background will definitely understand what I'm talking about. Now there is something called PostgreSQL, P-O-S-T-G-R-E, PostgreSQL, which is basically a free and a open source relational database system, which basically, you know, implements the SQL language, SQL structured query language, right? If you are familiar with MySQL or MariaDB or any other uh, SQL, you will be comfortable using PostgreSQL on your Raspberry Pi. It's pretty simple if you are from SQL background. Even if you are not, don't worry, I am going to show you the list of commands and basic syntaxes, how to use it and stuff like that, so not to worry. The reason for this is that all these servers make use of SQL to manage their databases. It's, it's critical that every server we are going to build upon, it's built on top of the standard SQL structure itself. Now, there are a few reasons why you may choose to use post, PostgreSQL SQL over MySQL, right? MySQL, again, it's a pretty popular uh, uh, database uh, structure. Now, one of those being PostgreSQL's feature sets and its compliance with implementing the SQL language is pretty flawless and especially designed for low computing devices like Raspberry Pi and even on ESP32 and I tried in a couple of other microcontroller and the single board computers as well. It works flawless. That's the reason we are going ahead with PostgreSQL as part of this entire zero to hero series anyways let's move on let's let's quickly look at what we are trying to achieve now uh, moving on to my circuit yes it's connected i am connected remotely through vnc so there is no usb port no hdmi and no gpio access just the camera lying idle and i am connected to my internet as you can see it's blowing up so I hope you guys are connected uh, remotely as well. It's very important guys because uh, you know, as we move along, we will be doing all these exercises using VNC server, remotely accessing through your Windows machine into Raspberry Pi. As you can see the screen behind me, I am into my Raspberry Pi desktop, but I'm making this video using a Windows machine on my laptop. So it's so easy, isn't it? Exactly. Anyways, let's move on enough of this lecture. Let's move on to some of the commands. So basically installing the post SQL is as simple process within few lines of commands, but it's going to get little uh, complex as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Our first step is to install the post SQL server software to your Raspberry Pi. Now this installation process is fairly straightforward and it takes only two steps, but we need to do a little bit of configurations and stuff to test it, right? So before doing, doing it, we need to, of course, we need to run an update and an upgrade. So how do we do that? I know it's boring. You have done this a couple of times, but you know, it's very important that we need to do every time as and when we are installing a new package, a new library or a new software or, or any kind of algorithmic uh, stuff like uh, TensorFlow in the previous lesson. Every time you do the installation, you need to update the OS and then upgrade the OS. That's where that's how this particular architecture has been designed. So anyways, let's run an update sudo space apt dash get dash update there you go it's updating it's gonna run pretty quick because i just did it now let's run a upgrade 
sudo space apt dash get upgrade and the upgrade has been done pretty quick right you can see it at the bottom i can see my uh, username and uh, it's it's blank let me run clear c l e a r clear now it's a clean window isn't it now let's let's see what we need to do so basically our next step is to install the postgresql package to our raspberry pi by using you know a few simple command lines now along alongside the postgres server this particular command what i'm going to show you now will also install additional bits of software such as the command line interface the cli interface on the command line terminal itself we can create a database and some tables and rows and put in some data some dummy data all those things is possible using the terminal itself so it's going to get really interesting guys so the command line to install the sql application is this sudo space apt space install space postgres sql hit enter and it's going to say i am already installed there you go it's already installed because i have installed it i'm going to leave this command line as part of this video lessons so you can take it up copy it or type it up clear all right now what we need to do we need to move on to the next step at this point of time if you actually try to use the postgresql command line interface using your raspberry pi user you will get an error saying that you don't have a role set up for it so you need to set up a role to access to this particular sql database now we can change to the postgres user to create a new role your first step is to change the user role so how do we change that so there's a command called sudo space su space postgres so how do we do that we just need to put it here right i am going to leave all these commands down sudo space su space postgres let's see what happens there you go it's taken up it says postgres at the rate of raspberry pi colon forward slash home forward slash pi dollar sign so that's that's where now we need to assign the user configuration now once you have changed the postgres user we can now create a new role with this particular command line itself now run this particular command how to make it interactive so we need to basically create a user called pi and then we need to make it interactive on the cli on the command line interface so what is the command for that so the command is within this right do not close the window within this within this particular postgres at the rate of raspberry pi colon forward slash home you need to put this particular command called create user single word create user space pi space dash p and then space dash dash interactive then hit enter now it's going to ask you for the password for a new role this is basically to keep it secured environment so set up the row set up the password i cannot you cannot see the password on the screen so you can put your password and hit enter it's going to ask enter it again hit enter shall we shall the new role be a super user yes of course because because what will happen is it the first prompt will ask you for entering a password for the new role which you saw that and then adds a, which basically adds an extra layer of security when connecting to your raspberry pi's postgres sql server remember guys in the later lessons i'm going to show you how to remotely access your database in your raspberry pi might be in in jamaica or some other country and you might be accessing everything from india so that's possible right now you will now need to decide if you want this new user to be a super user if if you want to use the pi user to create a database and other stuff the answer should be yes right so we need to say yes to this say why type why and hit enter okay creation of the new role failed the role pi already exists yeah that's because i had already created it so i'm not going to worry in your case it's going to say to the text line 
Now our next step is to create a database that has the same name as our user. Now when you try to use the command line interface, it will basically, you know, automatically try and connect to a database with the same name as your username, right? Uh, Pi at the rate of Raspberry Pi, which is the default name, which, which is part of my Raspberry. You might change whatever you want. Now what we need to do, type PSQL. So what will happen? Let's see. Type PSQL. PSQL. So now it says PSQL Raspbian 11.14. Type help for help. Now it, it it now it's got into my database. That is Postgres equal to hash. That's that I got into that database already, which we created. I have done this exercise before I made this video, so it's it's going pretty smooth for me. So you will see the same command as you do for the first time now we need to create a database with the pi username by using this particular command line called create database pi and a colon so let's see what happens since i had already created it might show up an error but let's see create database it has to be an uppercase it's very important create should be an uppercase space database should be in an uppercase space pi yeah fine lowercase and then a semicolon hit enter error see i didn't i tell you the P, pi database that this database already exists because i had already created i'm just showing you the command line commands guys what command you need to type so follow this create database pi okay once you are done you can quit out of the cli tool by just typing exit right once we do that so let's see what happens exit okay exit i'm back to my user uh, name once we type exit and it will take you to the main line so with the role created for our pi user we can now change back to it so now again if you exit is going to completely exit out of your sql server right so if we do exit exit again and there you go back we are we are back to the normal right we came out of the database so guys, this clearly shows that we have successfully installed the Postgres SQL and we are able to create a database accessing the database. So that's all about it in this lesson. So in the upcoming lesson, what we are going to do, what, you know, I'm going to show you how to, you know, capture some images, cap capture some texts and stuff like that and create a repository using the Postgres SQL database. We'll create a database structure. So all these things is going to happen. Now, do not worry how we are going to capture those database and stuff because it's going to get complicated. I'm going to show you some simple stuff using Node.js JavaScript, which is going to automate all these things. So guys, it's going to get interesting. You really don't have to struggle with SQL and write some JavaScript codes and stuff like that. Everything is built and I'm going to show you how to import it from my GitHub account. And I'm going to show you how to operate and play around at a later stage ton loads of ai stuffs machine learning stuff robotic stuffs is going to come alive in front of you i will see you soon goodbye